Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 14 from exercise 2.3, chapter 2, triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorem 2.1 to 2.5, exercises 2.1 and 2.2, examples 1 to 8 and questions 1 to 13 from exercise 2.3. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. Now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 14 from exercise 2.3, chapter 2 triangle says sides AB and AC and median AD of a triangle ABC are respectively proportional to the sides PQ, PR and median PM of another triangle PQR. Show that the triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. So they have not given us the figure here. There are two triangles that is ABC and PQR. So let us draw the two triangles first. ABC and PQR are the two triangles. So there is a median in triangle ABC that is AD and PM is the median of the second triangle PQR. So we have to show that the triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. So first of all let us write down what is given in the question given since they have mentioned here sides AB, AC and median AD of triangle ABC are respectively proportional to the sides PQ, PR and PM. So here since they have mentioned the word respectively so we have to take the side AB by PQ, AC by PR and the medians AD by the second median PM. Okay so write down AB by PQ that is the side AB is proportional to PQ, side AC is proportional to the side PR and that is equal to the medians AD by PM. Okay, so this is what is given in the question and what we have to prove here, we have to prove triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. So to prove these two triangles to be similar, we already know that there are four kinds of similarity criteria. Since here they have already given us the two sides of these two triangles are already proportional, either we can prove the third side to be proportional or one angle of these two triangles to be proportional. That is we can prove either this angle A is equal to angle P or we can prove the side BC is equal to the side QR so that we can either apply side angle side uh, similarity criteria or side 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 similarity criteria and say that these two triangles are similar but proving this third side is equal is not possible so we will prove angle A will be equal to angle P. To prove the angle A will be equal to angle P, there is a small construction to be done here. So let us produce AD to E such that this AD is equal to DE. The length of AD is equal to DE and let us join CE. Okay, similarly we can do in the triangle PQR, let us produce PM to N in this way such that length of PM is equal to MN and let us join this RN. Let us write down the construction part. Produce AD to E such that AD is equal to DE. Then we have to join CE or EC. Similarly, produce PM to N such that PM is equal to MN. Join RN. Okay, so this is the construction. Now let us write down the proof for this problem. Consider this triangle ABD and ECD. Okay, let us consider these two triangles first. So let us write down in triangle ABD and ECD. We already know that this AD is equal to DE by construction. So write down AD is equal to DE by construction and here we know that the AD is the median which divides the line BC to two equal parts that is BD and DC. So here we will have BD will be equal to DC as AD is the median. So this BD is equal to DC down BD is equal to DC AD is median and if you observe here this angle ADB is vertically opposite to angle CDE right since there is an intersection here if there is intersection of two lines then the angle form will be vertically opposite angle so this angle will be equal to this angle and this angle will be equal to 
this angle. So here similarly we have vertically opposite angles here. So write down angle ADB is equal to angle CDE. Angle ADB is equal to angle CDE that is vertically opposite angles. Right? Now here you can observe that the side AD is equal to DE. BD is equal to DC and angle ADB is equal to angle CDE. Okay, since here the sides are equal and not proportional, so we can prove that these two triangles are congruent. Okay, if you remember in the congruency of two triangles, the sides are equal and the angles are equal. Okay, therefore we will write by side angle side congruency criteria triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ECD. Now since these two triangles are congruent, then all the sides will be equal. We have proved that the BD to be equal to DC, AD is equal to DE. Now we can say that the side AB is equal to CE. Therefore, AB is equal to CE by CPCT that is corresponding part of congruent triangles are equal. Now similarly let us prove the side PQ is equal to RN by proving the triangle PQM is congruent to the triangle RMN. Okay, so let us consider these two triangles now. Write down in triangle PQM and RMN. So again if you observe we have the side PM is equal to MN by construction. PM is equal to MN by construction. Right? And also the PM is the median. So we have QM is equal to MR as PM is the median. QM is equal to MN as PM is the median. And also we have this angle PQM is equal to angle RMN vertically opposite angles. Angle PQM is equal to angle RMN as these are vertically opposite angles, right? Now therefore, we can say that these two triangles are congruent since the two sides are equal and one angle is equal, okay? Therefore, by SAS criteria, we can say that triangle PQM is congruent to triangle RMN. By SAS criteria, we have triangle PQM is congruent to triangle RMN. This implies the third side PQ is equal to RN, right? By corresponding part of congruent triangles. So let us take this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Now if you see what was the given proportion that is AB by PQ is equal to AC by PR is equal to AD by PM. So let us write down given AB by PQ is equal to AC by PR and that is equal to AD by PM. Here in this proportion if we substitute the value of AB and PQ from equation 1 and 2 where AB is equal to CE and PQ is equal to RN. Let us see what we are going to obtain. So let this be equation 3. So write down substitute 1 and 2 in equation 3. So let us do that. So AB is equal to CE divided by PQ is RN. That is equal to AC by PR and that is equal to AD by PM. So if we look at this ratio in the figure you will see that is CE by RN is equal to AC by PR and the third side is given as AD, AD by PM. So which is the triangle coming into consideration? The triangle AEC and triangle PNR but this side is missing that is DE and MN is missing, right? So if we make this AD by PM as AE by Pn, then we can say that all the three sides of these two triangles will be in proportion. Then the triangle ACE will be similar to triangle PRN. Okay. So for that to happen, just multiply numerator and denominator of this ratio or this proportion by 2. So let us multiply and write 2AD by 
2 pm because anyways 2 and 2 will get cancelled and proportionality will be same since you are multiplying both with the numerator and the denominator so let us write down ce by rn is equal to ac by pr that is equal to 2 ad and 2 pm so if you notice here since ad is equal to de 2 ad will be what ad plus ad will be equal to ae similarly we have 2 pm so pm plus pm since mn is equal to pm we will get pn right 2 ad is equal to ae and 2 pm will be equal to pn so we will get ce by rn is equal to ac by pr and that will be equal to pm by mn so here we will get triangle aec and triangle pnr sides will be proportional so therefore we can say that triangle ace is similar to triangle prn since all the three sides proportions are equal therefore write down from equation 4 triangle ace is similar to triangle prn by side 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 similarity criteria sss similarity criteria now here since these two triangles are similar then we can say this angle is equal to this angle let us name this as angle 1 and angle 2 so we can say that the angle 1 is equal to angle 2 since triangle ace is similar to triangle prn right angle 1 is equal to angle 2 okay if we join this side be and qn if we join these two sides similarly we can say that the triangle abe is similar to triangle pqn and if we name this angle these two angles will be equal and if we name them 3 and 4 then we can say that angle 3 is equal to angle 4 right similarly write down angle 3 is equal to angle 4 now name this as equation 5 and this as equation 6 now if we add 5 and 6 the left hand sides will be added and the right hand sides will also be added angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to angle 2 plus angle 4 okay so let us add equations 5 and 6 so we will get angle 1 plus angle 3 since the left hand sides will be added that will be equal to adding right hand sides we are going to get angle 2 plus angle 4 if you observe in the figure if we add angle 1 plus angle 3 we are going to obtain angle a and if we are going to add angle 2 plus angle 4 we are going to obtain angle p okay so therefore what is angle 1 plus angle 3 it is angle a which is equal to angle 4 plus angle 2 is angle p right so we have proved in triangle a b c and pqr that angle a is equal to angle p and if you look at what was given proportion already they had said us that ab by pq is equal to ac by pr so two sides proportion is equal and in between angle is equal so now we can apply sas similarity criteria right and we can say that the triangle abc is similar to triangle pqr this is what we had to prove initially so write down let this be 7 so write down in triangle abc and triangle pqr we have angle a is equal to angle p from 7 equation 7 and we have this a show a b by p q is equal to a c by p r a b by p q is equal to a c by p r from given okay so now we can write by side angle side similarity criteria we have triangle a b c is similar to triangle p q r so this is what we had to prove okay 
this problem is bit tricky and lengthy but it is very easy if you understand and solve this problem step by step hopefully you have understood this problem if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving question number 15 from exercise 2.3 chapter 2 triangles so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc nsert man and also do watch the related videos of chapter 2 triangles shown on the screen thank you